Hey, do you girls mind if I sit with you? Uh, uh, with that outfit? Yeah, we mind. Heather, I am so, so sorry. There's no money on your account. Oh, I have to take this, but you can have this free lunch, okay? <laughs> oh my god, how embarrassing. Your family's so poor, you have to eat that nasty free meal. I could never. How sad. Ugh. Well, um, it's not that bad. Well, we get our lunches made by our family's personal chefs. <laughs> Happy free meal, homeless Heather. <laughs> homeless Heather! <laughs> Aw, did you drop your nickel? Can you please get off of it? I need it for the bus. Ew, I can't believe you're so broke you have to take public transportation. <laughs> That's disgusting. So gross. See that car over there? That's my mom's brand new Tesla. And that's just one of our cars. That's good for you, Becky. I'd offer you a ride, but I wouldn't want to dirty up the car having you in it. <laughs> Becky, let's go, honey! Gotta go. My mom's taking me shopping at Gucci. Have fun riding the bus. shop at the thrift store. Well, yeah, I had to buy some new clothes for school. That is so gross. First you eat the nasty school lunch, then you ride the bus, and now you buy other people's used clothes. Ugh, gosh, how poor are you? Becky, I can't believe you just said that to her. What? I'm just telling the truth, Mom. You should never make fun of other people. Who cares? It's just homeless Heather. Everyone makes fun of her. How would you feel if someone made fun of you? You shouldn't judge people until you've walked in their shoes. Well, luckily, we're rich, and I won't ever have to worry about that. <laughs> See, that's where you're wrong. You may come from a family with money, but that is not how we treat other people. Starting tomorrow, no more catered lunches. You can have the school lunch. No more Tesla pickups. You can catch the bus. And no more designer shopping. You can shop at the thrift store. But, but Mom, no, you can't do that. You have no choice, young lady. Becky can't believe what just happened. The next day, Becky doesn't have the chef-made food she usually eats. When she tries to sit down at the table with her friends, they make fun of her and don't even let her sit with them. Becky is devastated. And after school, Becky's mom doesn't pick her up in the Tesla. Instead, she has to wait for the bus. Her friends happen to walk by and tease her. Becky is so humiliated. And finally, Becky isn't able to shop at the designer store. Now she has to shop at the thrift store. Her friends see her as she walks out and laugh at her. She's so embarrassed and runs away in tears. After a while, Becky starts to understand what it feels like to get made fun of for not having much. <laughs> Enjoy your free lunch, broke Becky. Let's go. We wouldn't want anyone thinking we're friends with someone like her. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll sit with you. Heather? But why are you being nice to me? Because I know how it feels when people are mean to you. Look, I'm really sorry for making fun of you all those times. I was wrong. I, 
guess you never really know what someone's going through unless you experience it yourself. Can you please forgive me? Of course. <laughs> hey, do you think we could maybe catch the bus and go thrift shopping together later? Yeah, I like that. One day, I'm gonna be the number one tennis player in the league. I don't know, man. Raphael's number one. Hey, hey, you just stepped on my brand new shoes, bro. I'm so sorry, Raphael. How'd you like it if I stepped on you? <laughs> yeah, I mean, your shoes are so busted, if I stepped on them, it wouldn't make a difference, bro. <laughs> yeah. Dad doesn't have a lot of money, so I can't buy new shoes. Yeah, yeah, we can tell, buddy. <laughs> no wonder he sucks at tennis, oh. right? <laughs> Everyone grab a racket, let's get started. Out of my way, bum. <laughs> hey! Yo! That is a sick racket, dude! <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, my dad actually paid extra to have it custom strung for me. Dang. So, <laughs> I mean, you know, to win you have to have the best, am I right? <laughs> hey, 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 poor boy! Don't tell me that's your racket! <laughs> Yeah, why? It looks like it's from the Goodwill, dude. <laughs> bro, it looks like it's a hundred years old or something, bro. It's my dad's racket from when he used to play. Hey, you know, hey, let me see that, bro. <laughs> nah, bro. Bro, I I'm not gonna lie, I, I wouldn't be caught dead with this thing. Come on, man, just give it back. You know, listen up, okay? This is why you'll never win a tennis game, right? <laughs> what a loser. <laughs> As you all know, league championships are coming. Not that there will be any surprise with who wins. Hey! <laughs> so, let's start with practicing serves. Hey, coach. There was a problem with Roger's payment. What do you mean? His dad's check bounce, so he doesn't pay for any lessons. <laughs> okay, I mean, come on. Is it really a surprise? <laughs> look at his, look at his racket. Look at his shoes. <laughs> I mean, come on. I'm sorry, Roger. You won't be able to play with us today. <laughs> hey, 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 by the way, by the way, you might as well just quit, you broke boy. <laughs> hey. Hey, Roger. How's practice? It was horrible. I got made fun of, and they said I couldn't even play because your check bounced. Oh, Roger, I'm sorry. I swear I had enough. Okay, well, so look, I get paid Friday. You know what, just forget it. I'm never gonna win with these beat up shoes and this old crappy racket. I give up. You think I became champion because I had nice equipment? It's not about that. Wait. You were the champion? Yeah, I was. I had no idea. And you won playing with that racket? Yeah, I didn't need a new racket or fancy shoes or even lessons. Because winning is not about what you have. It's about being willing to work hard enough. After hearing his dad's story, Roger gets excited about his dream again. He starts practicing every single day with his dad, working really hard to improve his game. Over time, he starts getting really good. When the championships arrive, he quickly defeats his first opponent. He even wins his second match. 
Roger continues beating all of his opponents and makes it all the way to the finals. With his old gear, Roger now faces off against none other than Raphael in the championships. In a stunning series of events, Roger now leads Raphael seven points to six in this third set tiebreaker. He's about to serve four match point. Congratulations on your big win. Oh, thank you. So tell us, how does an unranked player playing with some old shoes and an old tennis racket go on to win a championship? Well, <laughs> a wise man once told me, winning isn't about what you have. It's about how hard you're willing to work. Hey, can't you see we're about to do a TikTok? Oh, sorry. Now we gotta start all over again. Hey, you think I could be in it? <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? No way. Look at what you're wearing. Is that last year's Ammo Crossing t-shirt? Yeah. Why? <laughs> no one plays that anymore. We're gonna play Minecraft. Are your parents so poor that they can't even get you a new t-shirt? <laughs> wow. My dad isn't around. And my mom lost her job. So things have been... Here, Gordon. Here are those clothes I was telling you about. Thanks, Mrs. Henry. Of course. Let me know if you need anything else, okay? Okay. Is everything okay out here? Oh, yeah. Everything's fine, Miss Henry. We're just being boys. Playing around. Okay. <laughs> Wait, don't tell me those are used clothes. <laughs> hey! <laughs> now I know why all your clothes are so old. <laughs> Can't get them used. I gotta tell everybody. Hey everyone! Gordon gets his clothes from the Goodwill! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Joey. Give them back. Oh, you want them back? I'll give them back. See you later, Goodwill Gordon. <laughs> Goodwill Gordon. That's a good one. We should play Arsenal. Yeah, let's do it. Where's your tablet, Gordon? Oh. Uh, mine's a little old, and Robux doesn't really work on it. Well, if it isn't Goodwill, Gordon. Wait, do not tell me that's your tablet. Yeah? Why? <laughs> when did it come out, like, 30 years ago? <laughs> Anyways. Check out the new iPad Pro my mom got me. Cost over a thousand dollars. Sick. Look, mine's a little old. And it's all my mom could get me, okay? Let me see. Hey! Stop taking my stuff. That's really mean. Give Miss Tablet back. Be quiet! Don't even think about standing up for this loser. That's what I thought. <laughs> Can I please just have my tablet back? Oh, he wants it back. Fine, I'll give it back. No! I can't oh. Like, oh. Wow! I can't believe you did that. You're insane. You broke it! Whatever. It's not like it was worth anything anyways. How am I gonna get a new one? Fine, I'll help you. Hey everyone! Goodwill Gordon needs a new tablet. He'll take anyone's used one. <laughs> Just like his clothes. <laughs> 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 Have a good day, loser. <laughs> <laughs> You guys want to come over? My mom just got me a PS5. Oh, seriously? Yeah, let's go. Okay, cool. Wow. How many times are we going to see this loser today? <laughs> just leave me alone, Joey. Wait, do not tell me that you have to ride that piece of junk home. It's not junk! My mom got it for me since she had to sell her car. All right? And this is the best she could do? 
costs like five dollars, just like your tablet. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, I'd never be seen riding that. I must suck having to ride that home. My mom comes and picks me up in her brand new Porsche every single day. And look, there she is now. <sighs> That's really good for you. Let me see that. <gasps> give me my keys back! <laughs> <laughs> sure, I'll give them back. Go fetch. <laughs> Why did you do that? <laughs> Joey, I cannot believe what I just saw. We, we were just joking, Miss Henry. Well, joking at Gordon's expense is unacceptable, young man. You two, go home. Joey, come with me. What? No. We have to go talk to your mom. Please, don't do that. Come on. Hello, Mrs. Henry. How is everything? Fortunately, not so good. I just caught your son here bullying another student. You need to have a serious talk with him, or I will have to report it to the principal's office. Oh my gosh. I am so sorry. Yes, I will have a talk with him and make sure he learns a lesson. I promise you, this will not happen again. I sure hope not. Joey, what on earth did you do? Come on, Mom. It's just Goodwill Gordon. It's not that serious. Goodwill Gordon? Who is that? Just some poor kid everybody makes fun of. He wears old clothes, has a broken tablet, and even rides a crappy bike home. If you saw him, you'd laugh at him too. What? No, this is not how I raised you. How would you like it if people made fun of you, huh? You should never judge someone before walking in their shoes. Whatever. We're rich. I'll never have to go through any of that. Now come on. I want to play on my PS5. No. Just because we have money does not mean you treat people badly. You know what? From now on, no new clothes, no new iPad, and you're going to bike home. What? You can't do that. I just did. It's either that, or we let Mrs. Henry know to report you to the principal. So what's it gonna be, Joey? I can't believe this. Joey's so upset and can't believe his mom is taking all these things away from him. The next day, Joey's forced to wear an old t-shirt because his mom took away all of his new clothes. When his friends see him, they laugh in his face and make fun of him. During lunch, when all of his friends are playing with their new iPads, Joey takes out an old tablet since his mom took away his new one. Everyone laughs and makes him feel really bad. After school, Joey's mom doesn't come to pick him up in her Porsche. Instead, he has to bike home. When his friends see him, they all laugh at him. Joey feels so humiliated. He now realizes how much it hurts to get made fun of. And then a week later, Joey goes to talk to Gordon. Hey, Gordon. Uh, I don't want any trouble. Oh, actually, I came to say I was sorry. You are? Yeah, I uh, shouldn't have judged you before walking in your shoes. I never knew how much it hurt to get picked on. Can you please forgive me? Wow, that means a lot. Sure, I forgive you. Thanks. Oh, and thought maybe I should give you this. Oh my gosh! A Minecraft t-shirt? I've always wanted one of these. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And uh, do you want to come over and play Roblox? Well, I'd love to, but my tablet doesn't really work. Don't worry about it. Because so I can get you a new one. What? No way! I can't believe you got this for me. I've never had an iPad before. This is the nicest thing anyone's ever gotten for me. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So, should I meet you at your place? I have my bike, so I can't really ride in a car. Actually, I'm biking too. We can ride together. 
That's a fresh hoodie, man. Yeah, thanks, bro. I ordered that backpack, but it hasn't come in yet. Yeah, mine just came yesterday. Yo, 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 yo. Check out what Eric's wearing. Let's go. Hey, Eric. Isn't that the same hoodie you wore last year? Um, yeah. Aw, oh, man, I'd be so embarrassed coming to school in last year's clothes. Yo, I wouldn't even come. <laughs> even there's holes in it. <laughs> Guys, it gets worse. Look at his shoes, bruh. <laughs> those are busted. Where'd you even get those from? <laughs> the dumpster. <laughs> Why well, I think? It's been a while. <laughs> $10 at the most. <laughs> I wanted to get those Air Jordans, but my mom says I'm still growing up, so it's a waste of money. I don't understand. She can't afford to get you a single pair of new shoes. <laughs> or a new hoodie. <laughs> Wait, she got me this new backpack. <laughs> oh my God. Well, kind of new. It's from a thrift store. Bruh, Pokemon. Ah, <laughs> oh, he can't be serious. What's wrong with Pokemon? Nothing if you're seven years old. Grow up. No, bro, my little brother is seven. He won't even wear Pokemon. <laughs> it stopped being cool years ago. That makes it even more pathetic. It's not like I don't want new stuff. Things at home have just been... I gotta go. I'm not gonna lie. I kinda feel bad for him. Me too. Anyway, we still going to Legoland next weekend? My mom's gonna buy the tickets tonight. Yeah, my dad said it was cool, so I'm good. <laughs> my mom said she'll give me your card, so I'm all right too. That'll be 549. I, I have a coupon here. Four forty-nine. Mom, can I get this backpack? Please? Honey, I just bought you a new backpack. No one wears Pokemon anymore. Kids at school were making fun of me. What did they say? I don't want to talk about it. It's not important right now. The point is, I want this one. C can you please get it for me? Honey, I'm sorry, but you know the situation right now. Maybe next year. Ugh, this sucks! Uh, sorry. <laughs> there you go. No, we're gonna hit up here first. Hey, isn't that Eric? <laughs> yeah, it is. He seems upset. I hope everything's okay. Well, if I had on his outfit, I'd be upset too. Blake, how could you? Kathy, hi. How are you? Hi, Sharon. Hi, Blake. Hi. Oh, I'm doing, I'm doing all right, thanks. <laughs> That's good. Um, I saw Eric walk by. He seemed a little stressed. Yeah. Um... Some kids are making fun of him at school for his backpack. <laughs> That's terrible. Who would do such a thing? I don't know. He didn't say. You know, in situations like these, sometimes the easiest thing to do is <laughs> just to get him a new backpack. <laughs> yeah, if it, if it were that easy. What do you mean? Um, I know I said I was all right earlier. But the truth is, things aren't going so well. You see, as a single mom, it hasn't always been easy for me to buy Eric everything he wants. But no matter how hard it got, I always found a way to make him happy. That is, until recently. My boss came into my office and said business had been really slow lately, so after 14 years, she was shutting things down. I was let go on the spot without severance or anything. With the unemployment income I get, I'm barely able to afford our apartment. It's Heartbreaking not to be able to get my son what he wants. But for now, I don't have a choice. The 
So you see, if I don't get a new job, I can't buy Eric something new. I'm so sorry, Kathy. I had no idea you were going through all of that. Thanks. I apologize for getting emotional. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't want to rush, but uh, I, I don't want to leave Eric by himself, so. I'll see you later. Okay. Okay? <laughs> bye, bye. Thanks. Bye. 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 Uh, gosh. I feel so bad for them. Yeah. I can't believe what they're going through. <sighs> okay, well, let's go get you that outfit for Legoland. Actually, Mom, can I use my allowance to buy something else? Um, sure. What did you want to buy? Something much more important. Okay. <laughs> Do you ever change your clothes, Eric? You just wear the same thing every day. I wouldn't be caught dead wearing that to school. Eric, got a sec? Sure, I guess. What's up? Hey, bro. I got you a little something. Seriously? A new diamond hoodie? And here are the Jordans you wanted. Really? This is for me? I tried my best guessing your size, but if they don't fit, we can always exchange them. Also, I got you in a backpack. I was gonna wear it, but you need it more than I do. Oh my gosh, thank you guys so much. I, I, I don't even know what to say. You don't have to say anything. We're just really sorry for how we treated you yesterday. Going for it. We've got your back. And we'll be there if anyone ever picks on you. Thanks, guys. This means so much to me. <laughs> By the way, you like Legoland? Yeah, but I've never been there before. I've always wanted to go. Why? Because I used my allowance to buy you a ticket. So you can come with us. What? This is so crazy. Hey, let's talk about it over lunch. You want to come in with us? Sure, but do you guys mind if I put all this stuff on real quick? Sure, but hurry it up, I'm hungry. Hi guys. <laughs> How was Legoland? It was so much fun, and look, Blake's mom got his Lego shirts. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you again for everything. This has meant so much to Eric. <laughs> it's no problem, really. By the way, I spoke with my husband, and we would love to hire you at our company. We just had a managerial position open up. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness. I don't, I don't know what to say. Say yes, Mom. Okay, honey. <laughs> this is gonna change our lives. Thank you. Thank you so much. Loser! Say cheese! Ah! <laughs> oh look, it's Fawaz's four eyes. <laughs> I posted them all over school so that everyone will know what a loser you are. Stop!